Hey, I'm Kelly with Waterfall Woodworking, and today I'm going to show you how to make this modern shelf. A family member sent me a picture of this shelf they saw on Pinterest and asked if I could build it for them. So of course I said yes. I studied the picture and used it as a reference throughout this project. So I'm going to build this project in two different parts, the shelves themselves and then the frame for the shelves. I'm going to do that because the shelves, the thickness of the shelves will actually affect the frame itself. So we're going to build in two parts. Let's get started with the shelves. For this project, I'm going to be using cherry wood that I will be milling down myself. I'm not going to show the process of milling down the wood in this video, but you can really use any kind of wood you want, even pine, for this project. I started by measuring how long these shelves would be and cut those to size on my miter saw. I then cut them to their final width on my table saw. Okay, so now that my three shelves are cut to size, are the same length, width, and height, I am going to be adding a round over to each side of these because I'm going off of a reference photo that someone sent me. Um, that is what the reference photo had. It had a really nice rounded edge on both sides, so I'm going to do that with my router. I'm just using a standard round over bit here. Then I clamped my wood to my workbench and began routing. I love how this double roundover edge turned out. It gives these shelves some nice extra details. All right, so now we are moving on to the frame of the actual shelf. Um, so I am using cherry wood. Again, I'm going to be milling this down myself. Um, so let's go ahead and get it cut to size and start with that. I then cut my wood for the frame of this shelf to size on my miter saw and on my table saw. All right, so now we have our shelf frame cut to size. So this is going to be the front and the back, and the shelves will sit in the middle um, between both of these. And per the picture, they sit in little notches. So on the inside of the shelf, I'm going to cut out little notches out at the table saw. So I'm going to get everything measured and head over there to make those cuts. I took my time measuring where each shelf would sit and the size the notches needed to be to securely hold the shelves in place. Then I went over to my miter saw and adjusted my fence and blade height to the correct measurements. To keep the wood straight, I used my table saw miter gauge and began making my cuts all the way through these pieces of wood. After each cut, I just moved the fence slightly over and cut again until the shelves fit into the notches. I then just repeated that on the front and back of the shelf until three notches were cut on each. Once that's done, I put it all together and you can really see how the shelf is starting to come together. Now to measure the top and bottom pieces of this frame. I measured the outside end to outside end of the frame with the shelves still in place and cut those to size on my miter saw. At this point, I decided to sand everything to 220 grit before I assembled the shelf. I'm using Starbond adhesive on any cracks in the wood. This stuff works like magic. You just fill the cracks, spray the activator, and it dries within seconds. All right, so now it is time to make the joints that will allow these to fit together. So we're not just attaching them like this. Like normally, uh, per the picture, there is a certain joint, not exactly sure the name, where you kind of notch out here in here, and then the center of one of the pieces, and they all slide together. I'm doing a really bad job explaining it, so it's probably best if I just voice over it and show you how I'm going to do it. This is kind of going to be like a simple box joint that I'll be doing. So I started by measuring the areas of the wood that I was going to be cutting off and removing. The outside ends of the top and bottom pieces, and the middle section of the front and back pieces. I made sure to mark the pieces I would be removing with an X so there was no confusion. 
I built this simple jig for this project to be able to cut these pieces of wood vertically. I just searched on YouTube tenon jig, box joint jig, and found this simple one. All I have to do is attach my wood to this jig and make my repeated cuts just like before. And you can start to see how these pieces will fit together. It was my first time doing a joint like this, so I was so happy that I figured it all out and that it actually worked and they all fit together. From there, you just slide those pieces together and there's the frame of your shelf. I then just did a dry fit of everything using clamps to hold everything together just to make sure it was all looking right. And I was so happy with how it all worked out and came together. I then wet the wood to raise the grain and sanded one more time at 220 grit. Now for assembly. I used a little bit of wood glue and put all the pieces together and used my little square to ensure everything was a perfect 90 degrees. I then clamped everything in place to hold it together. Now since it's a bit cold where I am, I didn't want to rely just on wood glue to hold this together, so I also secured this using my brad nailer. I had a few gaps in my joints, so a little trick to fix that is to spread a little bit of wood glue over those gaps and go over it with some sandpaper. This fills the gaps with the glue and the sandpaper dust, making those gaps go away. For the picture reference, the frame had rounded edges. So I carefully rounded over the edges with my orbital sander, just going back and forth until it had a nice round over, and then just fine tuned everything by hand sanding. Once that was done, I brought all my pieces inside and finished them with walrus oil furniture finish. This cherry wood looks amazing. Attaching this to the wall was a little tricky. I drilled pilot holes in the wood and we had to use this flexible drill bit extender to drive the screws into the wall. This extender is great for getting in hard to reach places. Once the frame was secured on the wall, you can just slide your shelves in and adjust to your liking. This project gave me the chance to experiment with a lot of things I haven't done before, giving me new skills and challenges to figure out. I love how the shelf turned out. It's modern and the color of the cherry wood is stunning. I will definitely be making myself one of these. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more DIY and woodworking videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. I'll see you in the next one.